So what we have in this problem is a long rod of length L and mass M, which is at a distance D from mass M1. Rather, the left edge of the rod is at a distance D from mass M1. And the question is, what is the force of gravitation on mass M1 on account of the rod? Now, you'll notice that you cannot really use the formula GMM upon R square is the force on mass m1 because you see the mass of the rod is spread from left to right so each point of mass in this rod or each section of mass in this rod would have a different pull on this mass m1 so what we'll do is we'll find the pull on this mass m1 from various sections of the rod so we'll what we'll do is we'll divide the entire rod into small sections and we'll find what is the force on account of each piece of mass or each slice of the rod. But what you will also understand is that it's very difficult to divide this entire rod into millions of slices to calculate the force that acts on mass M1 accurately. So we'll make use of integral calculus to find this force of gravitation on mass M1. So how we'll go about is We'll take a very small mass, very thin, and let's say its mass is dm, and it, let us say, resides over here. So this is mass dm, let's label it dm, and let us say it is at a distance r from the center of mass of mass m1. Then we can say that the force on account of this mass dm on mass m1 can be written as a small force let's call it df which equals g into m1 into dm upon r square now we also know that the mass per unit length of this rod would be nothing but m upon l and therefore the mass of the small section which we are calling it dm right now would be m upon l which is the mass per unit length into the length of this mass and let's say the length of this mass is dr so go ahead and label this length as dr now if this is the case we can substitute the value of dm over here and we get that the small force df on account of the small section dm should equal to gm1 upon r square into m upon l times dr. So I'll repeat, this small df is the force on account of the small section over here on this ball which has a mass m1. Now, if you want to find what is the force impressed by this entire rod, all we need to do is integrate both the sides. And if you integrate both sides, what you'll get is on the left hand side would be F and this would equal integral of G M1 M upon L into 1 upon R square dr and the value of R should change from D. 2d plus l so you can see that gm1 m upon l is a constant and we can take it out and this would therefore look something like this gm1 m upon l into integral of d to d plus l of 1 upon r square dr and if you simplify this what you will get is this equals gm1 m upon l into as you apply the limits 1 upon l plus d minus 1 upon d and if you simplify this further this expression will reduce to f is equal to g m 1 m upon d into l plus d